Kasi talagang meron talagang iniwan ang Panginoon ng mga poor to check the selflessness of the rich. The poor are there. In so this COVID really taught me to become self, selfless, to to sacrifice, to let go of money, <laughs> to let go of my savings. <laughs> Everyday with me. Nakakalimutan ko na kung sasabihin ko. Um, quite, uh, ano to? Yung, the day is uh, quite busy. But I really thank God. Alam nyo, ang pinakamasarap na nangyari itong COVID is maraming realization. maraming natutunan. I hope that you learn a lot of things. Uh, I just want, nagsishare lang ako, nag-iisa kasi ako ngayon dito sa bahay. Um, in our lists, we have lots of lists in our, madami kaming lista, pero, Ang pwede lang naming mabigyan is according sa aming available na stocks. This, today is the 8th eight, eight group of people that we have distributed the goods. And uh, meron pang 9, group 9 na nakalista. So, naghihintay pa ako kung paano mangyayari ito. Um, alam ko na ang Panginoon ay magbibigay ng kanyang resources. I'm still praying and shaking heaven for for funds and I know that God will surely, 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 surely shower His His blessings to us. Um, this COVID actually taught me a lot of lesson, a lot of lesson, a lot of lesson. Number one, it taught me to be really selfless. Yung bang wag mong isipin yung sarili mo. Um, naiintindihan ko yung, I, I hope na <laughs> nagkikita niya yung, ano to, yung naging viral na si FLM. <laughs> Uh, nanonood din ako sa kanya actually naging intriga siya sa naging intriga siya na I was not really interested actually on the first time tapos sabi nga ni ni Romel yung husband ko sabi niya mami may taong ganito ganyan 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 so it turned out na maganda yung kanyang ano to initiation I really admire how he initiated things and he was willing to to give up a lot of things and his money. Bilib ako sa kanyang action. I was really, really impressed of what he did. And on the first time, on the first time na ano to, on the first time na nagbigay kami ng, ano, ng tulong, parang okay pa eh, kasi may fans. Tapos, katagalan, mayroon ka pang mahugot kasi akala mo, konti lang yung tao na bibigyan mo. Then, it turned out na dumami. Dumami, dumami, dumami pa nang dumami. Hanggang sa, <laughs> parang, parang magigib up ka na kasi wala eh. Tapos, ang challenge mo na nangyari ngayon sa amin, nasiraan pa kami ng sasakyan. But God still good. God is still good. Kasi, meron akong nakunan ng isang resource ko to pay for the, for the, ano to, for the, uh, na nasira na sasakyan. So, yung budget ko na nilagay ko doon para sa sasakyan, sa ginamit ko na naman ngayon sa pagpili ng mga ano to, ng mga resources. Ngayon na naman, si Romel, yung husband ko, supposedly, uh, magsishare din siya kasi kanya-kanya kami ng ano eh, kanya kami ng funds. So, sabi niya, magbibigay din siya ng share niya. It so happened na, na nangangailangan din yung ano, yung, 
eh, may isang bagay din sa Pilipinas na kakailangan that he has to set money. Sabi ko, grabe ka talaga tanin ha. Grabe talaga itong kaaway. Talagang sinisira niya ang discarding niya. Pero, God is still good. Kanina, kanina, um, may mga taong tumawag sa akin na magbibigay ng mga ano ta, ng mga goods. But I really told them that I will not handle money. Hindi ako kukuha ng pera. No. So, if you want to give something, sabi ko sa kanila, buy the stuff. Or, I could go with you and shop and buy the things. At, at ano to, yung ikaw ang mamimili, sasamahan lang kita para hindi magdudubla ang trabaho na ilalagay yung pinamili mo doon sa sasakyan ko para hindi hindi mahirap. Kasi mahirap maghahawak ng pera and I don't want to hold money. Kung pera ko, ibang usapan yun. Pero kung pera nyo, hindi ko maghahawakan yun. <laughs> so, kanina, may pinuntahan akong tao. At alam nyo ba, I was really blessed with these people. Kasi hindi ito sila yung sabing hindi sila yung sabing, ano ito, mayaman. Alam niyo ba na sila ay nagtatrabaho lang sa loob ng bahay? Nagtatrabaho lang sila sa loob ng bahay. And I was able to, the, the first one, last week, I was able to get six, ano, six bags. May rice, may itlog, may noodles. Uh, tapos kanina, may nakuha akong ano to. And, you know, what really impressed me, yung pang antuwa ng, ng puso ko, in the, kasi, binibigyan tayo ng pagkakataon na magtulong. Alam nyo, itong mga sitwasyon na ito, itong, itong sitwasyon na ito, actually, is teaching us to be mindful of others. It teaches us to, to carry the burden together. Yung bang, hindi pa naman kami ginugutom. Yung, yung, hindi pa kami ginugutom, sabi ko nga sa mga anak ko, no. And I'm so happy that my children participated in, ano to, in, in, in distributing the, 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 the things. Kasi ngayon, nagsasabi na, kasi off na ang daddy nila, sa pa nila. So that we're going to distribute na. So they look forward of doing, uh, of doing something and distributing. And this is a good experience for my children. And so it taught them to be to be servants, you know. They it taught them to really be mindful of others. At ngayon, ito yung mga natutunan ko talaga personally na hindi bang magiging selfless ka. Na pwede mo kasi kahit na may pera ka, sa totoo lang, may pag may pera ka sa panahon ngayon, kailan mo gagamitin yung pera mo kung hindi mo na kailangan? Okay? Kasi itong irony ng mga circumstances eh. Ay, uh, okay, alam ko maraming magbabash o maraming mag- mag-create ng comment na ito. Pero, yung sinasabi na walang mali sa pagsisave ng money. And I don't want to discuss that aspect. Ang sinasabi ko lang talaga dito is, yung bang, ang puproblemahin mo yung ngayon, ang puproblemahin, hindi, wag mong puproblemahin yung bukas. Kasi kung ano yung naubos mo ngayon, God will refill everything. God will refill everything. Nako talaga, sa totoo lang, God will refill everything. And I would like to really praise God na na he he he's teaching me talaga grabe talaga kasi ang tendency natin ng mga tao, we are very selfless. We we tend to keep things. We tend to to own things and we tend to really ayaw natin mabigay ito lang ngayon ang pumabigay. Mahirap magbitaw. Lalo na pera. No? Mahirap magbitaw. Magaling tayong magsalita, pero hindi tayong mag- marunong gumawa. Yan ang sakit natin. Sakit ko yan. Sakit ko yan. That's why I'm thanking uh, God for these circumstances because I have to really see myself where I am standing. Kasi hipokrita din ako. Hipokrita ako. I'm not better than the, uh, than others. Ano rin ako? Self- selfish din ako. And I'm very hypocrite also. May para sabihin ng tao nila, Yes, it's my disease. It's It creeps in my heart. Na, nagpapa-impress tayo. You know, this COVID is really teaching me to really remove self from me. Naku talaga mga kapatid. And even my my whole family is really, my we are learning, we are learning. Sabi ko nga, basa lang tayo ng basa ng Biblia. Basa tayo ng basa ng Biblia. But we don't live. We don't live on what we are reading. Ako, we don't live 
and it's a challenge it's a challenge that that we we read the bible we we say things but we don't really do what god really wants us to do yun ang sinabi din ng panginoon na walang magsasakripisyo sa mga taong hindi kakilala ang sarap magsakripisyo para kanino sa anak mo sa nanay mo sa mag, sa magulang mo sa mga kaibigan mo pero you don't feel really doing Uh, sacrifice for those others na hindi mo kilala. Totoo lang, mga kapatid. So this COVID really taught me to become self, selfless, to to sacrifice, to let go of money, <laughs> to let go of my savings. <laughs> okay? And to let go of my savings because I always see to it na meron ako talagang savings every month I have to. But I said, Lord, okay, if this is a challenge that you want me to take, I will give the budget for my savings. Wala problema yan. Ibibigay ko yan. Ilalat ko yan. Because I am challenging myself. I am not challenging. I am challenging myself. It is between me and my God because He knows what is inside me. I don't know to you. I'm just sharing this because... Maybe some realization would really take place in you and in us. So, and it taught me how to really prepare. It taught me how to prepare. Um, yung bang, kahit pa paano may mahubot ka. Okay? And number number three, it taught me really to touch the lives of people and to, to, ano to, to inspire people. Ano pa talaga? And then to really trust God. Kasi ngayon sa totoo lang. Ngayon sa totoo lang. I have a list of group 9 for for ano to? Group 9 sa bibigyan. Pang, an, pang siyam na ito. Pang siyam. And they are ilan ba sila? 15 sa list ko. 15 ang nasa list ko ngayon. For, for, for the group 9. wala pa akong makahanda <laughs> wala pa, wala pa so I'm praying that God will really prove to me that He is my God that He will provide the resources for for others so I want you know, it's a personal experience between me and my God so I praise God for this situation because realization really creeps in and it tests me if who I am Ang layo eh. Ang layo. Sabi nga ng isang, ano, ate, grabe na rin. Pagod ka na. Sa kundo kundi. Kulang pa ito. Kulang pa ito sa ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. Ang binigay niya nga ang buhay niya. Eh, tayo nga eh. Takot nga tayo magbigay ng maubusan ka ng buong salary mo na ibibigay mo lahat. Hindi mo nagagawa yan. Pero ang Panginoon, binigay niya talaga ang buhay niya. Hindi ba? So, yun lang yung mga realization ko sa bagay-bagay na ito. nakikilala mo yung mga tao at sinasabi ko nga sa kanila don't ever post anything in the Facebook of what we have done to you no. hindi kami huwag na huwag ninyong ilagay kasi hindi kami ang dapat makilala ng tao makilala ng tao dapat ang Panginoon kayo ang kailangan ninyong makita ay ang kamay ng Panginoon na He provided and then that God answered your prayer you know God is just using you and me. And those resources doesn't belong to us. The things that we have is not ours. It's God's. We were just entrusted with all those things. So the thing that we need to do is to, to share the things that God entrusted us to, to have at this point of time. So kung kailangan natin ubusin, ala ubusin! <laughs> Pero wag muna kasi meron pa akong bills na babayaran. <laughs> I have to pay my, my bills and then then we will decide. Naghihintay lang ako ng hanggang Wednesday. Then, uh, ano pa? Wednesday, makabayad lang tayo ng mga electric bills, mga telephone bills, kasi hindi pa dumating yung telephone bills. So, kakailangan natin, mahirap naman yun na, na ilagay natin yung sarili natin sa problema, dahil sa pagtutulong, no? Kailangan pang nagtulong tayo, hindi naman natin ilagay ang sarili natin sa anong kapahamakan. Okay? So, Ganun lang. Uh, I know that you can do something in or in your own way, but remember, whatever things you have, you don't own it. It's God's resources. 
At kung ano yung binigay ninyo, hindi magugutang ang Panginoon sa inyo. Babayaran ka niya. Babayaran ka niya. Babayaran ka niya. But even then, whether there's a blessing or not, just do what you ought to do. Because the promised blessing is already there. Hindi ka gumagawa ng dahilan sa promise. ba? Diba? Because the promise is already there. Whether you will do it or not, my promise na tayong Panginoon. So, gawa lang tayo ng tama. Gawa lang tayo ng tama. And uh, I received some messages already from those people. Nakakaano, nakakaiyak. Na, sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, pag nag-grocery nga tayo, eh, hindi lang ito ang binibili natin. So I, 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 I felt the burden of those people. And they are very, very grateful. Kahit konti lang yun, they are very grateful. So, I'd like to solicit your your prayer na ipag-pray natin yung mga tao nandyan sa sitwasyon na yan. Na bigyan sila ng lakas ng loob to, to face the situation. And let's pray also for those people who has the ability to, to share their blessings. That they will be generous enough and be selfless enough to really share their, their resources. Kasi alam niyo sa totoo lang, may maiiwan talagang may kakayanan to support. That's biblical. Kasi talagang meron talagang iniwan ng Panginoon ng mga poor to check the selflessness of the rich. The poor are there in order for us to really support for those people who are there. So, it's not about the challenge being given by people, but it's actually God is challenging us in this situation. So, all I can say is that carry each other's burden, okay? Pray for each other. Uh, yun nga yung, ano doon yung sa early church sa Acts, that no one lack anything because those people who has something, they gave and they share what they have. So, if we will, even though we don't, we are not one church, but we are one because we are brothers and sisters in Christ. So, let's share what we can share and let's pray and let's uplift everyone and let God be the center of everything. So, God bless us all. <laughs> gusto kong matulog, gusto kong magbigit ang mata ko, may gusto kong magpahinga. Pero, maraming tumatakbo sa isipan mo kung ano na naman ang susunod na naman. So, for those people, please hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that there, kung hindi man kami ang makakatulong, I know there are people who could really help you. Don't think of doing anything else. So, I hope that this situation uh, nagbigay ng aral para sa iyo, na mas makikita mo kung ano yung purpose ng existence mo, ano ang dapat na gawin mo, ano ang ano yung purpose mo and uh, examine yourself it's attitude realization it's an attitude matter and of course keep the faith keep the faith that is okay and take care and see you always in prayers and God bless